Okay, we're gonna use XM Player to uh, try out uh, this 720p uh, X264. See in the corner, it's using hard, hardware decoding. You can just scan through the file. I mean, it's obviously hardware decoded because it's, um, it's really scans through quick. It's a memory. I mean, it's super smooth, instant. It sounds very clear. It's great. Okay, so let's, let's check out some uh, 1080p video playback within uh, XBMC. Okay, now let's just go to the settings and you can see um, if we go to video, allow hardware acceleration, and as you see that's, that's highlighted there. Um, and this is a 1080p film, Hunger Games, uh, X264, it's a .mkv, it's, it's a few gig, and it, it's got AAC, Dolby Digital Sound. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scan through the film though, so we can check it out and see how it's working. And there we go. Oh no, sorry, this one's a, a dot. MPEG-4 file, but as you see, I mean, this is obviously hardware accelerated, and there's no contest in that. And I mean, it's actually a pretty good reproduction as well. I mean, it, XBMC isn't the best for searching, but you see, it does play, and uh, it is, is good looking. For some reason, it's stretching it out, so we can just uh, we can we can adjust that within the program. It's just normal. It's what we want. Not that stupid mode that it was on, stretching it out. So there we go. And you can see that's uh, <coughs> perfect. Okay, let's check out uh, some .mkv files using the built-in player. Just stop that. Um, and now, if we use uh, the file explorer, which we can get to from the front front page, go to folders and USB. Okay, and we can check out Cloud Atlas. It's a 720p, but it's DTS and it's a .mkv. It's a nearly six gig file. And we use one of the built-in players and we'll see how that. Okay, it's looking very nice. Indeed, it's very smooth. Okay, now I've also installed a uTorrent and we've downloaded some TV shows here. I just want to test them out and display them. It's, a, it's only a 150 megabyte uh, AVI file, so it's not particularly anything special. We can use it in one of the inbuilt players as a demonstration. There we go. I mean, it's perfect. I mean, it's only like a, a low risk TV show, but uh, as you see, you can just easily download the TV, TV shows via torrents and stuff. Okay, let's check out some, some audio playback and uh, we're going to go through the SP diff to play the audio straight to the amp. So we're going to uh, go sound, devices manager, SP diff. Okay, we're going to go folders, USB. Okay, we've got some FLAC audio and uh, we've got an album here, Blade Runner. See how it plays it. Let's try some natural music instead of the background noise. Go soundtrack out, of course. Okay. Now 
we've got a choice of players for flak. We're going to use the built-in player for music. HDMI, just so you can see it's coming out the SP diff. Set the amp to stereo as well because it's on ProLogic now. Absolutely perfect. Okay, and there we have uh, Dot Flak uh, lossless audio on the Yugu's UT1 Android TV box. Okay, thank you for watching. Now, if you want to check out part three, we've got gaming and web browsing. Okay, thanks for watching. Now, don't forget to subscribe to the APAD.TV YouTube uh, channel. You can just click subscribe and uh, also register for the forum over at apad.tv and also uh, visit apad.tv regularly for news and technical updates on various products. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to watch part three.